In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can fill text with text. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a cheat sheet? Hmm? Head over to graphicsgirl.com and get your free Photoshop cheat sheet. It'll show you all the shortcuts in the program, whether you're on a PC or Mac. Just click the link below. You'll begin by giving yourself a brand new document with Command or Control N or File New. The specs for which really can be anything, but I'm going to do mine here at 1920 by 1080. This is going to be set up for screen resolution at 72 ppi with RGB as the color modality. Or conversely, you can come right here to the web presets and choose web large. You'll go ahead and click create. So in the upper left hand corner, you can see that we have not yet saved this file because it begins with untitled. So you might want to go ahead and save. You can do that with command or control S or file save. So I've saved my file now with a name. So we're ready to begin. We're going to start with zooming in with command or control plus. Ah. <laughs> and then we're going to set some text. We're going to just do one letter and we can do that by coming to the T icon on your toolbar or clicking T on your keyboard. With that, I'm just going to click down one time and I'm going to type out a letter. I'm going to type the letter T. Now I'm using a font that's somewhat stylized here. With my type tool selected, I can see up here in the options menu, the font and point size. This font that I'm using happens to be called Black Oak Standard. And if I show my character panel right up here, the icon at the top is one way to get to it, or you can show your character panel. You can show your character panel in your workspace with this icon, or you'll come to Window, Character. And here's where you could choose a different font and change up the point size just as easily. But the other thing you might want to notice in this panel, if you see any of these selected, for now, go ahead and uncheck it so that there is no faux bold or any stylization going on this particular font. If you like, you could change the point size here to be something like a thousand. Let's take a look. If I back out, Command or Control minus, I might need to come right up here to the Move tool to place it well within the parameters of my file. So next, what you'll do is come back down to the Type tool and right click anywhere inside that letter. You're going to choose Create Work Path. Once you do that, it may look like nothing's happened, but take a look. You'll see what's called a path all the way around the letter. If you come to your Layers panel with this icon in your workspace, or you'll come to Window, Layers, you'll see that if you turn off the visibility of this letter, that you will see the path of that letter. Another way to see this would be to come to your paths panel and you'll see that a work path has been created. You can show your paths panel by coming to window paths. All right. So now that you can see the actual path of the letter's shape, you'll be able to come back down to the type tool and click inside that letter. You're going to put your eye beam right inside that letter. And we are actually going to paste some uh, Greeked out text called lorem ipsum. But first, let's just take a look once again at our character panel and make our point size as well as letting be much smaller. Here, you can from the drop down choose 36 for the point size and 36 for the letting. The letting is the space between lines. 
So here, having the same point size as leading is known as solid leading in typographical terms. And one last parameter that we'll set before going ahead and pasting is we'll come to the paragraph panel. You can come to the paragraph panel by, you guessed it, window paragraph. And you'll choose this one all the way at the end to justify all. This will make the copy go all the way from the left hand side all the way to the right. So here's our final step. You'll come to type, paste, lorem ipsum. Again, lorem ipsum is just some Greeked out text. You know, I'm not happy with the way this stylized text looks. So inside, clicking inside our text here, I'm going to select all with command or control A. And instead of the same font, I'm going to choose Futura. So now I have Futura condensed. You can put any font that you like. Eh, doesn't matter, there's medium there. Come on back to condensed. And you can see that it extends all the way from the left-hand side through to the right-hand side. This will really help give the illusion of the shape of that initial character that you filled. But you can see here in the last line, because it's set to justify all, it's going to really stretch out a line that doesn't take up that entire space. So what I'm going to do here, I'll go ahead and select all, command or control A, and copy. Command or control C. I'll go to the end of the line here and hit space, command or control V, just to kind of fill out the rest of this shape. Hiding my character panel, you can see now that my font, which was now Futura, with a solid letting of 36 point over 36 point letting, completely filled this letter T. But wait, there's more. If I back out, just to reduce my zoom, just to see the overall effect with Command or Control minus, I still have the ability to modify this overall shape. I could still change that character that I initially set, and it will stretch out the letters therein. But just word of note, whether you are grabbing it by its bounding box by these little tiny squares, to increase the point size or change the letting here. When you do that, it does in fact alter the point size that you might have set and some other parameters. But nonetheless, if you choose your move tool at the top of your toolbar, it will then ask you, would you like to apply this transformation that you made to the overall shape of your text? If you go ahead and choose apply, why you are left with text that fills text. So leave a comment below of how you could use this technique in your layouts. One idea I have is that you could create a poem and put it inside the initials of a loved one as something for them to frame and put on a wall or in a card. Leave a comment below to let me know how you could use this technique of filling text with text in Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.